Introduction This video provides a brief introduction to Smart Recovery in the UK. Smart Recovery is an abstinence-oriented recovery organisation which works to help people gain control over their drinking, drug use and other addictions. It's a self-help programme based on scientifically tested approaches to addiction. This includes tools from cognitive behavioural therapy, rational emotive behavioural therapy and the stages of change amongst others. It was first developed in America, with many of the top researchers and practitioners in the addictions field pooling their expertise to create the programme. Smart Recovery believes that the power to change addictive behaviour resides within each individual and does not depend on any particular religious or spiritual viewpoint. The main focus is on peer-led mutual aid or self-help meetings, though it's always been a partnership between people in recovery and professionals. Meetings are run at community centres, libraries, care and treatment providers and also online. They're led by a trained facilitator and run through a 60 or 90 minute format. Crosstalk or sharing of ideas between different people in the group is encouraged. Smart recovery is not so much concerned with the past except to learn from it and so war stories or going over and over past mistakes is discouraged. The focus is more on solutions than problems and although recovery is a serious issue, sometimes the most important thing in a meeting is to have a little humour. Many people recover enough to move on with their life, so it's not necessary to attend meetings forever. Most people will attend for up to two years, though some will stay around longer and train as a facilitator. Smart Recovery draws on tools and techniques that have been shown to be effective and provides a structure around four main points. The first point is building and maintaining motivation. Research shows that motivation to change is incredibly important to recovery from addiction. 50% of people who experience serious addiction will recover simply because they're highly motivated to change without treatment without therapy and without mutual aid. Some people who come into smart recovery groups are not yet sure whether they want to stop their addictions. Here we use a tool called the Stages of Change model to help them understand the nature of their current motivation and other methods to help them reflect more deeply on what they want out of life and whether this is compatible with the addiction. The aim of the four-point program is to help the participant build a toolbox of techniques and skills to help them with their recovery. Many other tools and methods are used both for self-study and guided by the facilitator within the meeting. It's helpful to think of the meetings as a place to learn about the smart recovery methods and to then go out into the world and put them into practice. Looking at this list, you can understand why becoming a smart recovery facilitator requires training. There's a lot to know. Although, after learning the basics, most people build up confidence and skills very quickly. Other meeting participants also quickly learn how to use the tools and will help each other work through the challenges of recovery within the meetings. The Department of Health funded a two-year pilot scheme to see whether treatment providers could help kickstart involvement in smart recovery. Alcohol Concern coordinated the scheme and trained facilitators at six pilot sites. These members of staff encouraged clients to train as facilitators and supported new meetings to come into being. The remarkable thing about the project was that after the scheme had finished, the original six sites had produced 25 new peer-led meetings in the community. The involvement of treatment providers has helped many more people gain access to this valuable support. Taking the learning from the pilot of UK Smart Recovery has developed a partnership scheme that is open to any care or treatment service which involves staff or volunteers in the agency being trained as meeting facilitators, known as champions. 
This partnership model is not an alternative to peer-run meetings, but a way of actually helping them develop and helps provider organizations to embrace the recovery agenda. The best way to become a facilitator is to attend meetings. Over time, you'll develop an understanding of the tools that is hard to get from any training and maybe the facilitator will begin to let you co-facilitate. Then you can arrange to do the training course and become a full facilitator in your own right. In practice, you might be living in part of the country where there are no meetings. We strongly encourage you to use the online meetings and then you can do the full training program at some point. Professionals in care or treatment services that are interested in promoting smart recovery should look at the partnership information on our website. If they want to take advantage of the benefits of the smart recovery program in their organization, they can take on a partnership agreement and train to become a champion. Our online training is a self-study program using a mixture of video, reading materials, exercises and quizzes. You need access to a computer with an internet connection, some headphones and some basic computer skills. Participants and facilitators of Smart Recovery are joining a worldwide community of recovery with online resources, forums and chat rooms available 24-7 for support, meetings and discussions about Smart Recovery. Smart Recovery was originally developed by a not-for-profit charitable organization in the USA, which is overseen by a volunteer board of trustees and an international board of advisors, including Aaron Beck, Alan Marlett, Carlo Di Clementi, Bill White, Linda Sobel and Stanton Peel. In the UK, the most important people are the meeting participants. They're supported by the growing network of meeting facilitators, many of whom have personal experience of addiction or who are smart recovery champions, that is, professionals or volunteers in care or treatment organisations who have trained as meeting facilitators to help their service get smart meetings started. The UK charity is governed by a board of trustees and registered with the Charity Commission. There is a small staff team and a central office base in Stoke-on-Trent. Smart Recovery is responsible for promoting and developing smart recovery across the UK, protecting the name and copyrighted materials and ensuring the programme stays in line with guidance from the International Board. In the past, Smart Recovery has had funding from the Scottish Government, the Department of Health and the Roxbury Foundation, all of which we're incredibly grateful for. Treatment providers also provide some funding through the partnership scheme, although it's important to remember that Smart Recovery is a not-for-profit organisation. Smart Recovery can help those struggling with addiction. Look at the website to find the closest meeting, and if there's nothing nearby, why not join in one of the online meetings? There's no pressure to participate. You'll be welcome to just sit and listen if you prefer. If you're interested in becoming a meeting facilitator, there will be information on how to apply at the end of this course. Becoming a meeting facilitator is a great way of giving back and can be incredibly rewarding. If you work for a care or treatment organisation, partnering with UK Smart Recovery can help your service to more fully embrace the recovery agenda. That's the end of this introduction to UK Smart Recovery. Thanks for listening.